Hello, Black women. Today, I am here with an encouraging word for anyone who feels like everything in their life is shaking and unstable. Hey, everyone. My name is Rushni, and I am a content creator. I am a special needs mom. I am a healing journey coach for Black and West Indian women, and I am a Black woman healing. I create humor-filled healing spaces so that other Black women can heal two. You're welcome, boo-boo. Okay. It is late at night and I'm feeling like I'm feeling. I just made a fresh cup of tea. My eyes look like they're red. I'm not sure why. Listen, we're here now. Okay. Also, if you saw the previous video, my pup had to be contained because I had an incident with a cicada. That was traumatizing. I don't want to talk about it. We're here now. This video is entirely inspired by a conversation I had with God and then a video by Stephanie Perry, okay? And something that was an answer to a conversation I had with God that I want to share with you guys, especially if you feel like everything in your life is shaking, okay? Um, if you are new here or if you are true here, hit the like button, follow and subscribe, okay? Hit the arrow button and share this video with another Black woman who is also healing, okay? Um, we are in surgery season. What does that mean? That means my son has a very major surgery scheduled for the end of this month. The end of this month is this coming Friday. So a week from when I'm filming this, not from when I put this up, from when I'm filming this. We are also in um, a flux moment right now in that the night that I'm filming this, which is Friday, May 24th, um, which would have been my father's 84th birthday if he was still here, is also the night before I have to take my son to the lab to see if he is sick tomorrow morning, because if he is sick, we cannot have surgery. Okay. Earlier today, I was at the hematologist with him troubleshooting some issues that they found in his previous lab work. Earlier this week, we were at the lab. Last weekend, we had a new prescription. We are currently working through an entirely other prescription this entire week. Last week, we were at the lab. We met with plastic surgery. We met with ortho, of course, because that's who's doing the surgery. There is a lot going on in my life, and that's just with my son, okay? On May 1st, I was abruptly let go from my part-time job of four and a half years. I submitted for a family medical leave on Friday and I was laid off on Wednesday. I know that sounds suspect. However, it was eventually I found out, not by them telling me, they, they didn't tell me. I just, I had to ask, okay? I found out later that it was a group layoff, okay? And I did consider speaking to someone. However, as you can tell, the life that I've been living these past few weeks is much more um, filled with medical stuff for my son. And I just don't have the bandwidth to look into whether or not I got shysted, okay, in that space. Doesn't sound like I did from the few people I did talk to, but I don't have any time to pursue it, okay? Along with that, smaller things in my life, all these things in my life, Things all over my life felt like every single area, not every single area, that's a, that's a generalization, but that's kind of how it feels when you feel like everything's being shaken. Everything felt unstable, you guys. Everything felt all over the place in some kind of way. It was almost like every single time I decided that something felt firm, that it was going to like be a thing, like my job of four and a half years, okay? Like the fact that the surgery we've had planned for many, many years, and we actually put a date down last year uh, is going to happen on the day, you know, things that felt stable, lots of other things going on too. Everything was shifting to the point that last week, I was like, God, everything feels unstable. And that was the word I used toward him. I said, God, everything feels like it's shaking. What is going on? Okay. Like what's happening? All right. I'm a life coach. I've done so much healing work, but that doesn't negate the fact that when you are living a life, sometimes you need something that feels solid, okay? And God is solid, thank you. But you also want the components of your life to feel solid too. 
especially when other parts of your life are swirling like this, right? So what does this have to do with Stephanie Perry? So last week, I'm talking to God in my head and I'm like, God, everything feels like it's shaking. Everything. And let me tell you what, this was even before some other stuff started shaking. <laughs> all right. Everything is just moving all over the place like that. It's tectonic plates everywhere in my life. Right. So I'm having this conversation with God. I'm like, God, everything feels like it's shaking. Everything feels like it's unstable. What is going on? What is going on? What is us going to do? All right. I jump on Instagram later that day and Stephanie Perry, who is the co-founder of Exodus Summit, she is a author of the new book, Job Detox, and she is a lot of other things. She is a leader of a movement of Black women who are taking sabbaticals and house sitting. She's also my friend. Um, she jumped on Instagram and went live. And just out of the blue, although I don't believe in out of the blue, okay, I am divinely supported. I am divinely aligned. And even Stephanie was like, I'm not even sure why I need to talk about this, but I'm going to talk about this. And I was like, girl, when she was done, I was like, the reason you needed to talk about it is because I talked to God about this earlier today. Okay. She jumps on that same day when I'm having the conversation about, uh, with God, about everything feeling like it's shaking in my life. And she goes live on Instagram and she talks about the fact that the water is stirring and you need to get in the water. Yeah. Okay. So if you are familiar with your Bible, that story is a story in the book of John where Jesus was like strolling up to the spot in Jerusalem. Okay. And there were all these sick people that used to sit outside, I think uh, a gate. And it was like a famous pool of water where they believed that like an angel or something would come stir the water. And when the water moved, the people who wanted to be healed would have to go into the water. Right. And there was a dude that was hanging out there for 30 something years. Yeah. And old boy is just over there being unhealed and laid out. And Jesus strolls up and Jesus is like, hey, <laughs> what's going on? And the guy told him, listen, I'm always trying to get in the water. Every time I try to get in the water, somebody gets in front of me and I can't do it. And Jesus was like, do you want to get well? And then he was like, yeah, I do. And then he was like, get up, take up your mat <laughs> and, and walk, right? That is actually one of my favorite scriptures. And many, many years ago, I had done one of my favorite videos in my Facebook group about something else that I was inspired uh, by from that very same scripture. So when I jump on now, Stephanie's talking about my scripture, I was like, Mer? what do you mean get in the water? The water's stirring. And then she said, and then she said, you guys, because the water, this is not her exact words. I don't remember what it is, but it was something along the lines of, because the movement of the water, the movement of the water is going to take you where you need to go. Let me tell you something, y'all. Don't play with God. That was for me, okay? Because one, that's one of my favorite scriptures. Two, that morning I was talking to God about how everything feels like it's unstable and everything is shaking. Three, my friend Stephanie gets on and randomly starts talking about Bible scriptures, okay? Which is not what she'd be talking about. And she says, get in the water because the water is stirring. And the movement, the stirring movement is going to take you where you need to go. And I heard in my head, and I want to tell you, I heard God say, it's not shaking, it's stirring, Rushni. Get in the water because the movement, that stirring movement is going to take you where you want, where I need you to go. It was an instant reframe. And I wanted to just jump on and do this quick video because in surgery season, I'm gonna just jump on and do these quick videos for you guys, okay? Um, maybe everything in your life is not shaking. Maybe everything in my life is not shaking. When I tell you, I got off of Stephanie's video and it was just like this peace fell over me because I realized that what I was perceiving as instability and shaking was the momentum that was going to move me in the direction that I wanted to go in. And so I just let go and started to flow in the momentum of the movement. And as you heard, even since her video, so many things are shifting and moving around me to the point that if we go to the lab tomorrow and they say that my son has a respiratory situation going on, 
We can't have surgery this week. My eyes look so red. Anyway, focus. We can't have surgery this week. And that's not optimal. But you know what? I have peace about it no matter what comes because things are not shaken. Things are not shaking. The water is stirring. And this movement, this stirring needs to occur so that I can go where I need to go. Listen, I don't know if that blesses you. It blesses me. It blesses me, Stephanie, if you watch this, thank you for doing that, okay? Because it was a direct, listen, it was a conversation in the morning. You hit me right after that. And I was like, oop, I got, listen, the people on TikTok say, catch it. I caught it. I got it, okay? And I want to invite you to catch it too. Maybe everything's not shaking. Maybe the movement that you are perceiving as a negative is actually the movement that is necessary to get you to your next best thing. And that's all I got for you, boo-boo. My coaching membership for Black and West Indian women on a healing journey exists, thepineapplecrowns.com. I just added another resource um, for the members, included for the members for purchase for non-members. Um, a life satisfaction exercise, actually, if you're curious. The, the library of resources is always growing. Let me take another sip of tea. Could you see how the word stuck? The library of resources is always growing over time. There are a few courses out there right now. In session, you will be able to join and see all the information and partake. There are downloads. We have monthly group live group coaching calls. There is a private community. And listen, I'm working on having group coach, uh, guest coaches come and speak to the ladies, pre-recorded and live and much more as time goes on. If I get through sur surgery season, I can't speak. If I get through surgery season, I may even restart doing one-on-one -on -one coaching calls, which I'm super excited about. All right. So check it out. Either join the wait, wait list if you would like to become a member or... Sign up for any of the non-member courses, including the virtual planning retreat, Self-Paced, that starts on Friday, June 14th, and you will have access to all the modules all the way through November of this year. Uh, planning retreat participants, previous planning retreat participants are eligible to join monthly accountability calls that are separate from the membership call, and the membership will reopen for enrollment in July of 2024. Listen, hopefully it will now that we might have the surgery switched around, but we'll get there when we get there, okay? In closing, I read a book recently called Prayers of the Cosmos. It is meditations on alternative translations of Jesus's words in the Aramaic, yeah? And one of those translations, I believe from the Beatitudes, but I don't remember exactly, jumped out to me to the point that I made it one of my affirmations that I say daily, every single day. And it goes so perfectly with the fact that the movement is going to take you where you want to go that I'm going to share it with you guys right now. And it is healed are those who have softened what is rigid within. Maybe it's not shaking. It's just stirring. So boo-boo, get in the water. Be well. Be encouraged. Send a prayer in my direction for me and my son. Here's your pineapple. Bye, y'all.